Hello, welcome. Thank you all so much for joining me here. My name is Charity and this message is for Sagittarius. This is going to be a you and them reading, so I'll have your cards on one side and your person's cards on the other. This is someone you are connected to energetically, romantically, someone that you are thinking about, and someone who is thinking about you. I'm recording this message for the energies of December, but I ask these readings to be timeless and to resonate and have something for you whenever you're meant to hear it. And happy birthday to all those who celebrate. And I do apologize, it's taken me a bit to get you all your reading. I moved this week into my new home, so it has been a very busy, very full week. Just got my internet hooked up yesterday, so... Finally, finally can get some, some readings done. So let's get into this. Sagittarius. What is going on for Sagittarius? Spirit, what is the heart of the matter? What is the heart of the matter for Sagittarius? What are some things going on in the daily life? It could be affecting this connection. Oh my goodness, your cards are jumping out. What is going on in your heart space? What intentions do you have towards the connection? And what is a potential outcome in the near future? For whenever you're meant to hear this reading, you've got a page of cups on the bottom of the deck flirtatious energy, messages, maybe flirting, flirtatious messages. I love that. Really fun for a love reading, especially for the holiday season. Could be, somebody could be using Christmas or the holidays or something as an excuse to send you a flirty little message, Sagittarius. Okay, let's see what they're feeling about you. to take my <laughs> my phone off the table so it doesn't make noise okay what is what is this person thinking about the connection right now what is going on in their daily life could be affecting the connection how do they feel about you what intentions do they have towards this connection and what is a potential outcome in the near future or whenever you're meant to hear, oh my goodness, this message. Wow. What is going on? Sagittarius, you've got some, you've got some powerful energies coming through here. I'm excited about this reading. Okay. Heart of the matter. You've got the two of pentacles. So... Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy could be significant, but there really could be a lot on your plate, a lot that you're taking care of. I mean, I know for many of us, this, this time of year gets a little hectic, a little busy. I almost see somebody like juggling <laughs> different packages and things that they're trying to get together and bring. And, um, and I do feel like something kind of spontaneous is going to happen. I feel like you're going to see or hear from somebody in some sort of unexpected way. I got the message at the beginning of the reading and there's something about me seeing like packages or someone shopping that it's almost like you're going to be shopping. You're going to get a message. You're going to run into someone. Obviously, this feels very specific, but it's going to take you by surprise. But there's someone who is already thinking about you, thinking about how to reach out and connect. And I think they're definitely going to use the holiday season as an excuse. It's interesting because this is my, how far are we? <laughs> I've done several readings for December and this is the first one that has come through like this. And I do see you having a lot on your plate, a lot that you're managing, but I do see you having fun, enjoying yourself, being light about it all. And I really do like that. Um, your emotions might not be like the priority in the forefront. You could be because with those waves in the background, kind of tossing things around a little bit, you could be wanting to just focus on other things and maybe not think about all the emotional stuff right now, but 
feelings just have a way of coming up when they come up. But with the Two of Pentacles, it is a card about decisions. For me, it's also one of my um, soulmate cards. You have that beautiful infinity symbol here. And it's two people that, that are always connected. You might go in and out of time and out of lives. You might go long distance. You might get kind of together. But you always feel that connection before you even meet. There's something really powerful about that. Your person has the three of pentacles for what they're thinking about the connection. And this is somebody who wants to, who really recognizes you, wants to see you, wants to collaborate, wants to get together. That, like I said, they could be kind of light about it, could, could be using, you know, like a gathering or something like that, or, you know, um, or the holidays is a reason to reach out. Hey, how are you doing? That sort of thing. Um, but they really want to see you like they really do. If you're long distance, I feel like they might ask to um, like FaceTime or something like that, because there's something about this person just really wanted to see you and hear your voice. And in your daily life, you've got the magician Gemini energy for me as a reader, some Aries as well. But whatever is going on, whatever is coming towards you, this person that is thinking about you and very romantically, I'm going to show you, <laughs> show you why in a minute, but um, it's something that you've manifested. It's something that you've wanted. It's something that you've thought about. It just makes me think. It's so funny. Um, and I don't know why, but, um, but I was just suddenly thinking about, you know, when we manifest connections, in 2000, I think 11, I read The Secret for the first time and <laughs> I started to learn, you know, the book, The Secret, how manifestation really works. And there's all these things you can write down exactly the kind of person you would like to meet, you know, the kind of things you would like to experience, you know, a car, a home. Within six months, like I was a quick study. <laughs> I had the car, I had the house, it wasn't perfect, but it was good. You know, it was not a big piece of property, even though it was a small house. Um, it was just a rental. And um, and I was moving towards the job, you know, that I really wanted. It's when I was about to start like learning um, just to be a psychic full time and things like that um, years ago. And I wrote a list of the exact person, <laughs> like the exact exact kind of person and it was so funny because maybe a couple months later I found myself traveling and sitting next to someone and we started talking and it was like check 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 it was everything everything I had put on that like on that little that little list I don't know if it was a mental list or if I actually wrote it down but when I actually sat down to think about what I was really hoping for in someone you know I met them and of course they became a very significant part of my life and um, and that's the way <laughs> I feel about this this card this energy and I know I'm kind of laughing about it because um, it's just funny how things that how things can become so important that start so that start so simple and can become so important to you and this is what I'm I'm feeling like there's something about this person or about you that it's like they have they have been thinking about the kind of person that they're hoping to meet you know and they're like oh somebody who's who who likes to read somebody who likes to travel somebody who likes to you know go to concerts somebody who likes to talk all night you know <laughs> somebody who likes this or that you know and just like all the all the different things and um and then they meet you and they're sitting there like either looking at your picture of their long distance or standing with you somewhere talking and they're just in their mind. They're like, check, check, check everything. That's how they're feeling about you, Sagittarius. But you've manifested this. There's something that you've been putting out into the universe that is also calling this person to you. And in their daily life, they have the Ace of Cups. So could be someone could be someone completely new, but this could be someone who you have known because we have a lot of friendship here with that three of pentacles or like a work person or, you know, someone that, um, that you have like similar things in common with. So you could already know this person, but could be someone completely new, but either way, them speaking up and really opening up about how they're feeling or realizing what they're feeling, that's new. And Ace of Cups is a new beginning in love. So this person, whatever the situation, and even if you've come, because sometimes that two of pentacles, it's someone who's come in and out of your life, you know, 
um, someone that you have like a strong connection to. And I'm picking up on so many, so many different energies right now. I'm doing my best to keep one, keep one story flowing, but I'm picking up on a lot of very specific energies. But um, even if it's someone who you have known, there's something right now that they're realizing. It's like they're recognizing you. They're really seeing you. And they're seeing you almost like in a new way for the first time. And I don't know if you've just been really kind of expressing yourself more or showing up more or putting, you know, just being really, really genuine. But there's something about this person that they feel like they're, they're recognizing you and really seeing you. And their heart is just, it's just like welling up with all these feelings. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces could be significant. And in your heart space, Justice card, Libra energy. But when this comes up in the heart space in a love reading, especially for me in this particular reading, what you're feeling for them, they're feeling for you. There's there's balance here. You may not know it. And, um, and yet, it's like the two of you are feeling more and more for one another. And I just saw 11-11 on the time, so... <laughs> could be soulmate, it could be divine connection, but the justice card is all about what we put out comes back to us. And I feel like with the justice card and the magician, you have been putting out something, um, something into the universe, something positive, something steady, and it's coming back to you. And if you all hear noises in the background, I don't know if you can hear it. My dog is like snoring. <laughs> so in your person's heart space, they have the Ace of Pentacles. That is a desire for um, a desire to make an offer, to reach out, to connect. Once again, this person definitely wants to see you face to face. They're thinking about you, imagining seeing you, seeing you again soon or seeing you. And they're definitely wanting to make some sort of offer, some sort of connection. This is the cornerstone of the Ten of Pentacles. This is a new beginning that could lead to something really lasting. Taurus, Vir Virgo, Capricorn could be significant. And you're interested. You've got the page of coins. This is someone you're interested in. And very much could be someone like that you, you know, work with or study with. Obviously not, not everyone. There's all different kinds of connections, but um, I just saw someone who was like new or new to a work because of the page of coins, having a new beginning at work and seeing someone and meeting someone and feeling like immediate connection. And I'm just getting that sense, but um, that's also very specific. But I do feel like there is like an offer, a communication coming towards you, and someone is very specifically going to ask to see you or to talk. Um, your person's intentions are the judgment card. Powerful, powerful energy of two people that have been brought together by divine forces. And this is like a moment that everything's meant to come together. I feel like there's been signs, there's been symbols, there's been different things guiding you. Um, towards this person and guiding this person towards you. You've been thinking about one another and this is like a decisive moment. This is when the universe blows the trumpet and tells this person, hey, you better you better step up. You better do something right now because um, because Sagittarius is not one that you want to let get away. This is not an opportunity that you want to lose. Like I'm really getting that sense. Um, and I do feel like your person is going to take some sort of initiative as your potential outcome here. We have the Hermit, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Ace of Cups. So we have the Ace of Cups on both sides. We'll look at that in a second. But it's very interesting because <laughs> we have a Hermit energy here, which is Virgo energy in the Ten of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Also Capricorn season, which we're coming into right now. Um... And what I'm really seeing, there's something about this like coat that this hermit has that is very similar to me to this coat on this person that is coming forward here. And so I almost get a sense that someone who has been quiet, someone who has kind of gone within or pulled away or has, you know, gotten single or, or 
um, has been single, been on their own, um, suddenly shows up. Look at this. Do you see that? Do you see how they have this sort of like same little, very similar coat here? I almost feel like it's this person who'd been quiet, who'd been, you know, kind of, um, kind of on their own, suddenly showing up and wanting to really, really see something through with you. With this, you know, I said this Ace of Pentacles is a cornerstone of the Ten of Pentacles. I do feel like it's an offer for um, a new beginning that could be very much lasting. And Ace of Cups on both sides. So your feelings, especially with that Justice card in the middle, your feelings for one another are very similar. You're falling from one another, you're interested in one another. Now for some of you, this, is, this could be someone completely new with all these aces here, but I really feel like someone is seeing it. It's like they're seeing it, they're seeing you. There's something you're doing that you are just really showing up and someone is recognizing you and just, <laughs> It's like they're finding it irresistible and you're feeling the same way about them and their potential outcome cards that's when it gets really interesting are the lovers the knight of swords and the emperor so gemini energy gemini libra aquarius and aries could be significant but this person who is feeling love for you wanting to do something, wanting to step up, wanting to make some sort of step towards you, realizing that the moment is now with the judgment card um, is feeling for you so much with the lover's card. Um, I feel like this person, it's like... There's, there's just a part of their heart that they've always saved, like for you, for this moment. And I feel like at other times in their life, it's like they might have thought they were in love or they might have wanted to be, they might have had feelings, but there's something different about you where it's like opened up like <laughs> this place in their heart that is just undeniably like yours. That's what they're saying. <laughs> like yours. I don't know. It's very, it's a very specific energy. This whole reading feels super specific to me. So I hope, I hope everyone it's meant for can identify because there's so many different things coming through, but some of these, some of these messages are so specific. Um, and we have a knight of swords and an emperor. I feel like with the knight of swords, this person is thinking about you like crazy and they have to do something. Like they have to do something. The Knight of Swords is an energy that just has to act, has to do something. It's very impulsive. It doesn't really think things through, but it's got to, it's just got to. Like, and I just feel like this person all of a sudden is going to be like, I, I have to tell them. I have to tell them with the Knight of Swords and the Lover's card. And we have the Emperor here. Divine masculine energy for those that uh, resonate with like a twin flame divine connection journey. But masculine does not mean male or female. It's just a polarity. It's just an energy. Well, what it really is, is the very conscious energy of knowing, you know, who you are and what you want to do, what you want to accomplish and feeling very sure and feeling it's like the energy of the one. It's the energy of the one that you know that you're meant to meet and they're meant to meet you. Powerful reading, Sagittarius. I love it for your birthday season, for holiday season. Very powerful energy, but I do feel very much that someone has been giving this all a lot of very deep thought because we have this hermit energy. Could be you, could be your person, could be both of you, but there's been a lot of deep thought about this and I feel like They've given this some thought and they want to take this to the next level because the Ace of Cups on both sides and the lovers, this, this is a connection that just feels, it just feels adjusted. Like, I try not, I try not to say things that are going to seem like cheesy or contrived, but I mean, I am a love reader. I am a romantic. <laughs> 
And sometimes I just see readings and I'm like, this is it. Like, this is, this is your person. And that's what I'm seeing in this message. So whoever it's for, boy, be prepared. This, things are about to get really exciting for you. I love that for you, Sagittarius. So I do want to thank everyone um, who's liked, subscribed, commented, donated, ordered personal readings. Truly appreciate it. You make it possible for me to bring you these messages. And happy holidays to all for whoever celebrate. And once again, I apologize for my snoring dog back there. <laughs> He's making all kinds of noise through this video. But anyway, I appreciate you all. And hope you have a wonderful December. Thanks so much.